How helmets work to protect your brain. For every mile traveled in the U.S., motorcyclists are 37 times more likely than drivers to be in a fatal crash. Motorcyclists without helmets are over three times more likely to suffer a brain injury. And each year, just in the U.S., about 800 more motorcyclists could have been saved from death by wearing a helmet. Let's first look at how brain injury happens during a motorcycle crash. The skull is like a bus. The different parts of the brain are like passengers right next to each other. Imagine that a school bus hits a wall, smashing right into it, a total mess. The bus is crushed and the passengers thrown about, everything flying. It's much the same in a direct head impact. A person's head smashes into something and suddenly there's a mess, blood everywhere, and inside the skull, torn tissue and broken blood vessels. The damage is obvious. But suppose the bus driver somehow managed to panic stop. The bus looks okay, no damage to the outside, but inside there'd still be a mess. Kids and their stuff everywhere, lots of cuts and bruises. The force from that panic stop would reach inside the bus and rattle the contents while leaving the bus unmarked. The same has been seen in helmeted head impacts. If a severe impact overwhelms the helmet, the face and skull might look okay. There might be no blood or fractures apparent, but inside, just as with the school bus, there's chaos. There can be stretched and torn neurons, broken blood vessels, and a host of injuries. Bleeding leads to more pressure inside the skull, damaging brain cells. Brain cells do not like to be touched by blood cells directly. These injuries can result in serious health and behavioral problems, and even death. But say the driver is really good. She sees the wall and applies the brakes firmly but carefully. The bus slows to a controlled stop just short of the wall. But now the kids remain seated and hang on to their books and backpacks. When they get to school, the children can tell their friends and teachers about their close call. It works the same for people wearing good helmets. When the helmet strikes, it stops moving almost immediately. But the helmet's thick inner liner allows the person's head to remain in motion for a while longer. The liner, as it is crushed, applies a controlled braking force to the head to slow it to a gentle stop. So long as the head is stopped before the helmet runs out of liner, the impact is softened to a tolerable limit. A truly protective helmet is constructed with a foam liner to cushion the head and a hard shell to prevent penetration. The hard shell spreads the impact force over a larger area of the liner, just like a thumbtack spreads the pushing force over the thumb. Having a good helmet on your head is like being on the right side of the thumbtack. Ow! The Snell helmet standard for motorcycling is the most stringent in the world. Snell M2015 certified helmets protect the brain in both low and high energy impacts and assures you the same head protection enjoyed by most competitive racers. Snell M2015 demands all the protective performance currently available to riders.